How many of you use Google? I don't. I use something else. It's called Shrugal. You know why would I use Shrugal? Because they don't spy on you. Yes, Yahoo spies on you also in live search and that. Seriously, live search is so annoying in Internet Explorer. You update Internet Explorer, then the next thing you know, there's live search there. Instead of Google, or whatever else you had there. It's just insane. But with Shrugal, what they do is they kind of... Well, I'll bring you there. There's the horrible, evil Google. <laughs> wait, wait, uh, wait. I forget how to spell it. Uh, wait, I think I did this right. It's shrugal.org. Oh, oops. Uh, wait. Hold on. C R. There. Uh, Shrugal. Yes. Very great. It's spelled S C R O O G L E dot org. Just so you get that right. But anyway. You can basically read what it says. I'm basically going, mostly going to show you how to get it as the default search engine. You have to have either Firefox or in Microsoft Internet Explorer 7 or 8 to do this. Apparently you can have Opera also, but I'm not going to show you how to do that. Because... I don't know how I'll do that. But in. First, I'm going to do Internet Explorer. Basically, you can't really see it. But Internet Explorer is that one. There's Firefox, and then there's Internet Explorer. Basically, just paste the red text. Wait. Uh. Paste and copy. Click on IE, the Microsoft Internet Explorer 7. And then you, you just have to create your own. Just paste it like that. How do you spell it? Wait. Shrew. Then type in Shrewgle and then you press install. I'm not going to press install because I'm, I don't have Internet Explorer. But yes, it's, in fact, Shrugal is as good as Google. You'll see whenever you read the thing in the center. I might decide to be nice and show you what it says. On this, you just click on, on my computer anyway, uh, make sure it's in your language. For me, I click, I click. It was at 2, and then I clicked that one. It was internet-tools, and I clicked the first one on that. Just click that. And then I can't install it because it's already there, but yeah. And then you can just search on Shrugal. Really nice. The only thing is you don't have images and everything. Let's see, what are we going to search? Boy, huh? I'm going to have a. I'm going to try to have a video. Yeah, I mean, uh, in the description, you know, on the right. I click a more info. Ooh, 10 reasons to boycott Google. <laughs> Let's 
is interesting. Ooh. You just boycott Google. Google was becoming a monopoly. Google was a marketing company. Gmail was spyware. Uh huh. Yep. And has recently launched a bunch of people's email. Ooh. Yep. Critical. Not to use Gmail is the fact that even if you delete an email. Google still keeps it indefinitely, not only does that have privacy in some nations, but it also happens when if it gets hacked and stolen, if the Gmail database gets hacked and stolen, then what? Yeah, then what? The, what if the, the database gets hacked? And yes, it can get hacked. Credit card numbers, passwords, bank account numbers, and confidential will be lost and are stolen. Someone else will have it. Google's privacy policies. Seriously. Lowest possible grade from privacy international. Okay. Yeah, they've got the lowest possible grade. The invasive Google toolbar. How's that bad? Wait. Any application? Oh, the toolbar! Oh, I hate that thing. But how is it with Firefox? What are they talking about? Okay. Seriously, why would you want that horrible thing? Oh, and if you want to disable it, basically, if you want to disable the... Google toolbar, like if, but make sure you get Shrugal too. It's some, it's, wait, where's my mouse? You just right click on at your top. Uh, no, wait. At the part where it says file and everything, hopefully it's like this in Internet Explorer, I don't know. You should switch it to Firefox too, but still, it, it probably isn't. I think in IE7, it's really messed up. It's like something other weird thing. Where it says, on the toolbar, on the bar where it says file, in the one of the, in the blank space to the right, you just have a list of the toolbars you have. I don't really have that many because I'm on Firefox. But yeah. If you just click the, the Google toolbar, it'll have a check mark next to it, and you click it, and then it'll be unchecked, and it's, it's gone. And you can do that with any toolbar you don't want, either. Seriously, it's insane. Ooh, they bought DoubleClick. Ooh. They keep track of what you do, and then selling that data to advertisers. They're a spiral company. And programs such as Spybot, Search and Destroy, and, and Adware, which I both recommend, you should get them both of them because they're free and you need that. Especially get, surely you get Spybot, Search and Destroy. It's, it'll clear your system of spyware. If you put it on a five-year-old computer, even if you don't, if you, even if you have McAfee, if you have McAfee, you put it on a old computer, it'll really work. But yeah, basically, <laughs> how to boycott them. Yeah. It's so basically, yeah, you just boycott them and everything. Make sure you use Shrugal. It's a million times better. A thousand times better because they don't spy on you. It, you can... Read the site, the shrugal.org. I'll have a link to shrugal.org in the description, more info, and you can go right there. And that's about it.